Hey, how we doing gang? Kawaii50 here with another FGO video, pumping out them hits for Grail Live. Now, today we're talking about Miss Crane, and this video is going to be a little different in structure and probably shorter than a lot of my other servant breakdowns just because of the nature of this character and a lot of hard truths we're actually going to have to end up admitting about Miss Crane. Hopefully this video ends up helping you out if you pulled her. If it does, be sure to go ahead, like, subscribe, check out links in the description, click the bell, yada, yada, yada. All right, so uh, let's get into it and let's start talking about Miss Crane's kit. So Miss Crane comes equipped with one quick three arts and one buster card with an arts type supportive noble phantasm. Honestly, her card type is honestly negligible when it comes to her face cards uh, for reasons we're going to talk about in just a sec. Her max HP is fairly solid at 14,971 and her max attack is low, very, very low. You're not really going to see her hitting any amount of damage when it comes to any of her attacks, but you're not going to need to in the ideal situation. Her NP per hit is alright, as well as her star absorption, but again, I cannot stress enough that these statistics are honestly irrelevant when it comes to Miss Crane. Miss Crane's first skill is Ladies Love of Fashion, rank EX. This gives all allies invincibility, increases all of their critical star drop rates for three turns, and gains critical stars based on the number of Spiritron dress users, except for Miss Crane. Note that your ally does not need to have their Spiritron dress costume equipped for this effect to pop off. It'll happen regardless. This grants five to 10 stars per ally, allowing for a maximum of 20 at level 10. We are going to go ahead and max this skill last. Miss Crane's second skill is One Nightgown Rank B. This grants her a whopping 50 to 100% Noble Phantasm charge, decreases her own HP as a demerit, but honestly who cares, and also applies target focus to all allies except Miss Crane for three turns. This is easily the first skill that we want to level up. Being able to completely charge your Noble Phantasm to max on demand is absolutely no joke and is honestly necessary to use Miss Crane at her fullest potential. And Miss Crane's final skill is a thousand years gratitude rank A. This increases one ally's star gather rate, critical strength, and grants them instant death immunity at the cost of decreasing Miss Crane's own HP by 1000. But again, who cares? We are going to want to go ahead and max this skill second to take full advantage of that sweet critical damage boost. Just to gloss over a pen skills for Miss Crane, uh, all of them are actually unnecessary. Yes, including load magical energy. Since Miss Crane is able to completely charge her own Noble Phantasm on demand, and with the way her Noble Phantasm works, you can actually safely continue to hoard your materials for other servants. Don't worry about leveling up any of pen skills for her. <laughs> And now we get to Miss Crane's noble phantasm, Teni Muho Suru no Enishi Namida no Wakare, which I am sure that I butchered. Heavenly Beauty, Crane's Grateful Parting Song. This can only be used when there are at least 20 critical stars available, so we are going to need a craft essence to get around that most likely. This increases the attack of the leftmost ally by 20 to 40% for three turns, increases that ally's NP strength by 30% for three turns, and also order changes Miss Crane to the last reserve slot. The servant who is in position 4, i.e. the frontmost member of your backline, is going to get swapped in when Miss Crane pops this Noble Phantasm. This also has a sweet overcharge effect, increasing that ally's Noble Phantasm gauge by 30 to 50%, depending on how overcharged this thing is. This is Miss Crane's gimmick, and this is why we are not worried about things like 
leveling up any sort of stuff with her face cards with beast paws this is why we're not super worried about a pen skills this is why we are completely ignoring her statistics as even being relevant what we are wanting to do with miss crane to reach her full potential is to pop all of her buffs target that leftmost ally with the noble phantasm and get her off of the field so we can stack yet another supports buffs on top of miss cranes miss crane allows us for quite a bit of buff stacking and can really push the leftmost servant into power you have not yet seen before it's quite exciting quite a new interesting way to play the game I don't really got much for you for the ally section because Miss Crane honestly works with everybody. Her buffs are general enough that absolutely any servant can go ahead and take advantage of her bonuses. Of course, Spiritron dress users pull a little bit more out of her abilities than most. You can, of course, check those in your costume section to see which servants end up qualifying. But Miss Crane honestly works with basically anyone in the game. You really don't need to focus on Spiritron dress servants in order for her to reach some crazy potential. Now let's talk craft essences. So we need to use craft essences or other servant skills to help Miss Crane reach her full potential and be able to use her noble phantasm since that costs critical stars. Probably the easiest option for players to use starting off with Miss Crane is going to be Golden Captures the Carp. If you have this maxed out from way, way, way back in Rashomon, well, you got starting 50% NP gauge and starting 20% critical stars when entering the battle. So Miss Crane will immediately be able to use her Noble Phantasm even if her second skill is only at level 1. We're able to unlock that gimmick right away without a lot of investment. Of course, you might not have this CE. It is quite old, so you're going to have to go ahead and rely on something else and get Miss Crane's second skill to 10 as quickly as possible, or rely on ally support in order to buff up her Noble Phantasm gauge. Crowning Beauty Greater Glory is a fairly recent thing that popped up with Oku. If you have this maxed out, this is going to get you 20 critical stars right out of the gate. You can also go ahead and consider something like Hide Hunter. If you have this maxed out from Servant Summer Camp, well, that's going to be another easy 20 starting critical stars. These are going to be your ideal CEs when it comes to Miss Crane. Of course, if you're somewhat worried about that noble phantasm you need to focus on that and you have the allies that can easily grant those immediate 20 critical stars you can of course pump her up with something like a kaleidoscope or any starting np gauge ce but overall these starting critical stars are going to be far more useful when it comes to unlocking her gimmick and finally command codes don't don't give miss crane command codes do not waste your command codes on Miss Crane. Uh, it completely goes against her overall gimmick. If you are attacking with Miss Crane's face cards at absolutely any time, something in your battle has gone horribly, horribly wrong. You should not be attacking with those face cards. So again, Miss Crane completely freeing up those resources for you to sink into another servant. Overall, gang, Miss Crane is interesting. Very, very interesting. I quite like the sort of gimmick that she has brought to the table, and she, to me, has been really indicative of FGO actually going out and trying to do different things with their characters in order to sort of help revitalize the gameplay loop. Now, with Miss Crane, this does bring some challenges. She requires heavy heavy investment from you you need to max out those skills much like you would have done with any other support in the past like castoria or scotty she needs 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 one of those starting critical star ce's in order to reach her full potential since her noble phantasm activates off of eating those critical stars this does end up freeing up some other resources for you you don't need to worry so much about pen skills you don't need to worry so much about command 
command codes in order to maximize McScrain's potential. But in order to reach that full potential, you likely will need to be a veteran player. You need to be able to run a double support setup, be that Scotty's, be it Merlin's, be it Castoria's, so one of them can be subbed in when Miss Crane uses her Noble Phantasm, and you can stack even more buffs on your main damage dealing servant. So not only do you need to invest in Miss Crane, you need to have invested in a powerful damage dealer, you need to have invested in a powerful standard supporter, and you're gonna need to have the friendsless clout in order to pull in another 10-10-10 supporter to help do your work. I would not necessarily advise using Miss Crane when it comes to farming, she seems to shine the most in challenge quests, but you can get quite a bit of damage out of her with those challenge quests and really, really hit some stuff at home. I find when it comes to farming, the attack boost can be nice, but it can tend to be overkill. If you were already farming well before this, Miss Crane isn't really going to do much to push your farming potential further beyond. Overall though, quite quite an interesting servant. I highly recommend veteran players, if you pulled her, to uh, mess around with her a little. See how she can help you in some challenge quests and some upcoming story quests. And uh, let me know down in the comments if you're a JP player that has used her in the past. And let me know how she has affected your gameplay going forward. Uh, as you're going down in the comments section to talk about Miss Crane, uh, be sure to go ahead and check out some things in the description. We've got our Twitch, we've got the Discord, we've got the Patreon, we've got the Kofi. And I'd like to give a big thanks to everyone on all of those platforms, as well as all of you here on YouTube. It's because of your support that I want to continue making these videos. And I really do appreciate it. Anyways, gang, that's it for me, Kawaii50. I hope you all have a phenomenal day. I'll see y'all in the next one.